Although tobacco use in the adult group has recorded a decline in 2023, it has picked up in the young adolescent population, especially among girls. It is concerning that 13% of young adolescent girls use tobacco products, a trend which is on the increase. In the Namibian context, about 11.2% of young people aged between 13 and 15 years use tobacco. These numbers emphasize that tobacco use in Namibia remains a significant public health concern. We know that young people are exposed to tobacco products through extensive social media, streaming platform campaigns, as well as the use of social media influencers to promote tobacco products to youth covertly. This poses a significant threat to their health and well-being. Dr. Brantour called on government to revise the Namibia Tobacco Control Act to work together with the WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control to address the emergence of new tobacco and nicotine products attracting young people. Health and Social Services Deputy Minister Dr. Esther Mwinyangwe said although Namibia has adopted and implemented legal frameworks to combat tobacco use, there is need to regulate vaping tobacco products. With the support from WHO, the Ministry of Health and Social Services is planning to amend the Tobacco Act in order to regulate the vaping tobacco products and also to develop the tobacco strategic plan for the country in June 2024, that is next month. This will help to control the mushrooming of the novel tobacco products such as Hubbly Bubbly and electronic cigarettes. Tobacco use, this was also mentioned by the previous speakers, is a decades old pandemic that needs to end once and for all across the world as an imperative to sustainable development. According to WHO, the tobacco epidemic is one of the biggest public health threats that accounts for 8 million deaths of users globally. Speaking on behalf of Oshikoto Governor Penda Yandakolo, Tsumep Constituency Councillor Gottlieb Jajela stressed that commemorating World No Tobacco Day is to highlight the dangers and educate all on tobacco use. I therefore would like to take this opportunity to urge, to urge parents not to socialize their children into smoking. <coughs> when children grow up with parents and adults that smoke, they will view that they will view that as cool and will soon or later start smoking. Let us all join hands to break this vicious cycle. This event is not only significant in renewing our effort on educating the future generation on the effect of tobacco consumption, but most importantly, on how the tobacco industry can deceive them through their promotion and advertising as they want to trap them into believing that tobacco is good. Giving motivation against tobacco use is recovering tobacco user Hubert Chikongo. Remember that there is no safe form of tobacco smoke. Whether smoked or chewed, tobacco products contain harmful substances that affect your health. If you are considering quitting, but you don't know how, please seek support and explore available resources to help you on your journey to a tobacco-free life. World No Tobacco Day is commemorated annually on 31 May with this year's theme title, Protecting Children from Tobacco Industry Interference. Faith Sankwasa, NBC News, Tsumeb.